Welcome back to Melmec Art. My name is Mickey, and today we're going to be messing around with um, oxide of chromium or chromium oxide green or the muddy color that people don't normally go for. <laughs> um, I actually really do like this color. It's a lot of um, great mixing opportunities with it. Um, these are, um, and it's also very uh, consistent across the board. These are all different um, brands of this. Um, one of them is, this one is this one um, by Dan Barrett. It's handmade. I think this is Lucas and, um, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting now. What are my other ones? Anyway, I didn't write them down, but uh, trust me, these are all the same. And we'll be using this half pan that um, Dan made and we're going to get to be mixing with these colors. Um, I try to do um, groups, red, yellow, blue, orange, green, purples. I added a fourth. Um, earths, darks, and lights. Um, and if you can't read some of these, this is Cad Red. I'm going to point out the hard to read ones. This is Magnes Violet. This is Quinn Violet Rose. This is Cobalt Turquoise. Um, let's see, Sepia. And the rest are pretty. This is Titian Red, but it's an orange, pretty much. Titian Red is a PO36. And that one is by White Knights. Oh yeah, I should show you what I've got going on here. These are all of the colors I'll be mixing the chromium green with, the green with. So let's get to it. So I'm back to show you the mixes, the results. So this is the Earth Trio. And these are my Dark, Dark Trio, Dark's Trio. This is really beautifully texturized lunar black. And the indigo is like this really cool kind of indescribable mixture, really pretty. These are my, um, what I considered brights or lights. This is buff titanium it just like makes it a more opaque upper pink it's really cool there's this like really neat separation in there can you see that <laughs> and the cobalt turquoise there's a little bit of texture in there too really really pretty and the quin violet rose just gives it like kind of a I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of separation in there, but it's it's a beautiful, like a red-brown. Uh, and, whoops, over here are the reds. Let me get, swing the light over. So I tried to variegate these a little bit more to kind of show you there's different color variations you can get out of it. And here's the yellows. The azo yellow. Kind of really kind of rejected um, the chromium oxide green for some reason. So here's the oranges, a really cool texture in there. This is cat orange, Titian red, 
Quinvern Orange, which is the most finely ground. And these purples kind of remind me of that plant that is a, has a purple leaf. I can't remember what the plant is called, but it's a pretty common household plant. I can't remember. I wish I could tell you. Maybe some kind of ivy or succulent version. These are the greens. Um, the perlin green is really beautiful. It makes it more texturized because it's more of a, a like a dye or an ink. Um, it makes all of these a little bit more texturized, so it's really pretty. And this is like um, the same mixture as Cascade Green by Daniel Smith, so it would be chromium oxide green and a phthalo blue. And you can get phthalo blue in a green shade, a red shade, and a yellow shade, so you could get different textures. The ultramarine blue, really didn't know what to do with it, it sort of chunked together. But the Edanthrum blue, really nice even coverage. Over here is the earth colors. The raw, the burnt sienna is beautiful. Burnt umber, nice green here, dark, dark green. That indigo, I can't get over it. It's like this really beautiful green purpley separated mix. And the lunar black makes it definitely chunky. This is a sepia. I wasn't really sure what it would do, but kind of just made of more, more of a dull green. And this is the Quinn Violet Rose. And some beautiful texture in here with the Cobalt Turquoise. And beautiful separation here in the Opera Pink. And Buff Titanium, it really just makes it um, just lighter. So I'm gonna pan out here. And I'm gonna pick up this little microscope. It's fun to mess around with. And if I can get it on the right spot, I can show you some texture here. There we go. This is the, um, oops. Oh, sorry. I gotta get it even here. There's the lunar black. Um, this is opera pink. Isn't that neat? And this over next door was the cobalt blue. Too bright, I think. Over, oops, texture of that a little bit more. I don't know, it's fun to play around with this stuff. Check out your paint, look at the texture. <laughs> so, it's fun. These are like, I don't know, $15, 20 maybe even less on Amazon. It's fun to check, just to see what it looks like under the microscope. Sometimes it looks like a different planet. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me. Um, it was just a fun little experiment with chromium oxide green. I hope you mess around with it and play with your color colors that you have. I know chromium oxide green gets a bad rap. But, well, thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.